Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of War Thunder. Um, as you can see here, we're on the Death Cyber, um, version 1.45.6.0. Um, it's only a basic Dev server, um, you can see we've got a wintry background, we've got the Christmas trees, um, it's obviously Christmas coming up. Um, not much else has really changed here. But of course each nation has, at the moment, one new aircraft each, or updated as well. Now the first one is the Americans, the F2H2 Banshee. There it is. See, um, it's a naval jet, um, it's got these external fuel tanks that are, I think for a jettisonable in real life, I don't know if that would be like that in game. Twin engines, four um, 20mm cannons. Now, stat card, which is quite unreliable, but it's the only thing I have to really go on at the moment. Um, 600 miles per hour max speed, um, 1,500 meters, 12,500 meter max altitude, turn time, turn time of 25 seconds, 26 seconds really, and a rate of climb of 30 meters a second. Now, if we go here, we notice something quite odd. Um, the it can carry bombs, up to a thousand pound bombs, and rockets, but you can't actually select any. So, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm going a bit quick, then I haven't really got much time to record this, so I'm just sort of going over the most important stuff. Now, Germany hasn't got a new aircraft, to my knowledge. Um, what they do have is the, well, they have an updated version of the Arado, updated as in graphic wise I think. You can see the cockpit's a lot more well done. Um, engines look a bit well more well done. It just generally looks better. Um, I think they might have done some work to the tail here. I've not particularly looked at the Avado before so I haven't noticed any all the changes. Tyres look more textured uh, which is I suppose isn't that important. So yeah Germans getting updated Avado. Now moving on to the Russians, we get the I-16 Type 10, uh, the only one I haven't unlocked, and unfortunately can't test fly. Well, no, I don't really think I'll get time to test fly. So any information? No, I know the other two don't have information because I tried recording this a minute ago and um, it sort of didn't work out for mainly because I had to get rid of the mouse to do live recording and external hard drive, and oh, it's impossible to control and zoom at things. Um, stat card 286 miles an hour at 4,400 meters, max altitude, altitude of 9,300, turn time 16 and a half seconds, rate of climb 18 and a half. Again, we, it may not be too accurate. Um, can carry rockets but again doesn't give us the option. Um, RO82, I, I think that's the 82 millimeters. I'm, I'm going to go out on them and just guess the 82 means 82 millimeters. Now, which one of these are we? Yeah, this is the one we're looking for. New Canberra. We'll preview this. Now, this is an interdictor version of the Canberra. Um, has this got information? No. Um, carry 1,000 pound bombs and. Oh, here we are. Um, Wow, five 1,000 pound bombs, that's a lot. I don't know if the normal one can carry that. But it also gets four 20mm Hispano cannons. Oh, battle rating of 7.3. Oh, oh, the, the normal one's actually a really low battle rating at the moment. <laughs> I was wondering if they were going to keep that there. It also seems to have... It, it looks like a turret, but... It, it doesn't mention a turret. Is it, is it meant to be a telescope or something, or telescopic sights? Or seems an odd way to do it. Um, let's compare the stats actually between five four seven five four seven um, for max speed, turn time twenty six, turn time twenty six. Uh, I think these are the same more or less. I'm checking the bomb load out on the normal camera real quick. Yeah, we can't. Oh, it has six 1,000 pound bombs, oh, so it does actually better. I think this one has a bigger variety though. Because it can mix up with the 500 pound bombs. So, oh, so that's quite good um, for Britain. Um, has, this been ch has this one been changed about rating? Oh, it's been moved up to seven. Oh, that's good. 
I've already seen a few of these in matches just in B24s and they're battle rating of 5.7 so even for me this is quite good. Now the other aircraft, it was a Ki-43-3i or 3, quickly check this out, um, can carry two, up to 250 kg two, to bombs, um, let's have a look at it quick, oh wrong button, oh damn it, um, ok it seems to have frozen up, no, nope, managed to fix it, um, preview, alright max speed 366, at 6,000 meters, more or less. Max altitude of 11,000. Turn time 16 seconds. Rate of climb 21 and a half. I'm with four 20 millimeter, two 20 millimeter cannons. Oh, I thought it was four for a second there. Well, it looks quite nice. Um, two 20 millimeter. What's the? Well, how does that compare with? Okay, thank you. How does that compare with others? Um, kind of worse than the Ki-61 because. That at least has two extra machine guns. Uh, frame rate's actually getting in the way a little bit. Um, pretty sure that's four um, machine guns. Yeah, four machine guns. So better than the 61. Not quite as good as the Ki-61 HEI. As far as, you know, in my opinion. Now here's the other one. The J2M3 Raiden. Now there was a bit of confusion which one we were going to get. Cause apparently there was two. Um, we're getting the later one, which has the four um, Type 99 Mark II. The other one had two Mark, not two Type 99 Mark II and like a two Mark Ones or something like that. But again, 400 miles an hour. Um, it's max speed at 5,300 meters. Max altitude 12,000. Turn time 19 seconds. Rate of climb 13 seconds. They actually mentioned this about a Schrag music, the upward firing guns on this, but when they mentioned a variant like that, they haven't added that variant in from what I can see. It doesn't seem to have that on it. So that's all the new planes for the um, so far. Now, this is a test flight of the Ki 43i. Um, just to test it quickly and um, to show you something quite interesting. Which, wow, that was actually really quick to get off the ground. So two 20mm cannons, but more interesting, X-ray. Now we've had this for tanks for um, a little while. It lets you look at the modules. Um, it's been in aircraft for a while because um, there was a bit of a glitch where you could actually activate it <laughs> when you weren't meant to and it was quickly patched but occasionally if, um, the game doesn't load very quick. Wow this is very maneuverable. But um, yeah, if the game doesn't load very quick, you can see like the bombs load before the um, the plane, for example. So obviously everything's loaded inside. I think. Wow, this is oh oh dear oh no 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 oh no 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 um yeah I just managed to spin out an aircraft <laughs> in arcade um to the point of crashing um. I somehow think that might be a placeholder flight, flight model. There, there is no way that is the actual flight model. It's, there's no way that is the actual flight model. Um, I'm going to quickly take the G8N1 out for a test flight to get a better look at the internal workings of the aircraft. Um, I've taken the G8N1 because it's a large aircraft. It's got more modules. Uh, it's got the gunners as well because you know, I'm going to see if it's, oh no, probably won't, I was going to say try and get one of the gunners killed, but um, see if you, you can see the changes, but somehow I don't think that's going to work, unfortunately, but um, oh, it's gone a bit laggy for a few seconds, now oh, there we go, um, right, so what can we see in the aircraft, right, we can see our internal engines, oh, going off course, if I can get it in the air and then have a look. Oh, just about. Right, what can we see? A bit of a stretch to try and press two buttons and use the mouse and oh, three buttons and the mouse. So you can see the gunner. You can see all the various gunners in like some weird looking models. Um okay. See the engines? 
I see like looks like the structures of the wind sort of thing. Or I think you see the fuel tanks as well. Um, not really sure what else we can see here. Um, thought there'd be more if I was if I'm honest. I don't know if you can see are they the bombs. See something at the Bombay area? I don't know if they're meant. I don't know what they are. are they more fuel tanks? Um, wow. Um, maybe that's just my head, new headphones. That sounds a lot cooler than usual. I don't know if that's something added in or or just my headphones. But wow. 